party instead of uh, participate.
the year is still goes on, and the year continues to go on. The dialogue is historic. It's historic in the sense that this is the very first time we have asked and presidential and fundamental principles democratic principles in Senate the first time that two political parties are getting together to try to resolve <coughs> the impasse of the statement. And I'm sure this is the very first time some of the debaters have been called upon to challenge this difficult responsibility. I want to thank our friend. Reverend Johnson and his colleagues for convening and facilitating this dialogue. We call it a dialogue for the whole day uh, to provide an opportunity for two parties, irrespective of the fact that uh, they are coming from distant, extreme ends. Very, very distant students. The dialogue will provide an opportunity to start the journey of bringing two parties together, trying to arrive at what we always call a review of resolutions, solutions that would appease not only the two parties, but all other stakeholders, particularly the people of the union who, for it, it was stolen in a very, very arrogant manner. But we do not come here to fight. We are hoping to fight the dialogue with them, rationalize how happened, why it happened, and what measures could we put together to make sure it never happens again. We have started the journey. It's not the end of the road. This is the first step of a very, very long journey. We can shorten it if we all agree to accept the truth follow the truth and fulfill what it means to achieve the truth. But if we do not, we continue to behave as if everything is normal when we have this entrenched, <coughs> entrenched deficits in our institutional performances and it's been very, very, very difficult to us to We will not be able to achieve the prospects of Sterendio. It's not just serious prospects. But, as I always say, we are sure changing this because we will not be able to match our political aspirations that's of the country. There's a complete mismatch between our politics and what it takes to move to a new form, what it takes to improve the welfare of our people. We have to be able to understand and accept these realities and then move forward. That's why I want to thank you, Madam, for sparing time. Justice, my development partners, their presence, their residents in Australia, for following the process. And I do hope and do appeal that you will continue to follow us in this journey. Just to say the journey. It's a difficult one. The journalist was asking me, did you achieve what you came there for? I said, well, I achieved what I have to achieve within the context of the terms of reference and the capabilities of 
the Medinsky of the same. The Kenyan, they had their own terms of preference. The most of them is that. Yes, we may not have achieved what the APC actually has been fighting for. And we don't know what the APC has been fighting for. An erosion in our democracy, a blatant for the privation of the rights of the families in the But what we have achieved within the context of this dialogue is a very good step. Should appreciate that and move forward. <laughs> Rome was not built in a day. And Mr. Gabriel has the famous song which he calls Don't Give Up. Why should you not give up? Because we are friends. We are friends. I think in Australia we have friends. We have differences in our political aspirations. There are deficiencies in our institutions of Sierra Leone. This one broke. And it will continue to exist. We have to live all time. But in our own time, we have the truth of Sierra Leone. We want to have to do best. So that's the journey for our next generations. So it's as hard as that was. That's what thank you very much. Thank you. I pray that uh, we have the goodwill, we have the grace to fully implement to the letter what we have agreed on. Any political posturings are always nobody wins, nobody has lost. We're all winners. It's really disagreement. children 
who are still in kindergarten. Our hope is that those children and all children of this country will learn from this historic moment that our differences, no matter how wide, no matter how much we may disagree, no matter how much invectives people say, no matter how extreme some of our members can be, that our differences can be solved around the small table and the very hot, tiny room where people who may not have spoken to each other for months can look at each other and express the things that they disagree on. My hope is that our children will see that example and learn from it. Today, in this room, in the middle of the day, I was very hungry, tired, thirsty. My teeth did not give me the water. The Peace Commission did not give me water. The person who gave me an apple was Dr. Samura Kamara. I think it's important that we understand the symbolism of this and why I did not take that for granted. The world being in a place where there's so much distrust and yet the best part of my day was biting in a cold, refreshing apple when it seemed like we were going nowhere. That gave me hope. We believe that justice, democracy, peace are fundamental for our human and economic values. That's our belief as a party, and that's the belief that His Excellency President Julius Mada Bio continues to remind us of every day in government. We believe in dialogue. Not because we must all agree all the time, but because we understand that dialogue drives unity. All of this is embodied by our commitments to transparency, accountability, and the rule of law. As I stated a couple days ago, we work within the laws. That does not mean laws may not have been broken before, it just means that as a people, we will continue to be better. We will continue to work towards more justice. We will continue to work towards more unity. That's our commitment. As a government, we commit to continue working on strengthening our democracy. We continue to broaden inclusion, radical inclusion. We will continue to promote equitable access to justice. That's our commitment to the people of Sierra Leone. Again, I will agree with my uncle, Dr. Samura Kamara. There's only one winner. It is not the SLPB. It is not the ABC. It is not the government of Sierra Leone. The winner today is the people of Sierra Leone. <laughs> Allow me to end to thank all of us for the commitments that we made towards these ideals. And God bless the Republic of Sierra Leone and God bless all of all. all Thank you.
and the village people have come to a consensus. And again, we want to say thank you. And I know we find some time to definitely have this beating of drums and dancing around the fireside. For that, the only thing that has been absent. We're now at the end of this very historic moment, and uh, we will have someone say thank you, but I have to say thank you as well. We've been part of, uh, of the history of Sierra Leone, and I'm very proud to be a part. And I think in years to come, as some um, members of this podium have stated, and names will be known on history, that we have con con uh, contributed to this process, and that we have left a legacy for our children, grandchildren, and for generations to come. The leaders of the nation have spoken, and you have reflected the needs and aspirations of the people of Sierra Leone. And I would like to say thank you. My name is Vanara Ebin, and I'm a member of the Board of the Independent Commission, Peace of and National Division, representing civil society. So I also have the civil society flow. At this juncture, I'd like to invite Madam Powers Sally Samai, the Executive Secretary of the Commission, to give the vote of thanks. Thank you. I want to say again a very big thanks to God for where we've arrived. Uh, finally, the plane has landed, and I will see smiles all over. And we're happy that we've arrived at this destination. For the captain steering the ship, I excellent. Thank you very much for what you've done, not just for Sayo, but for the mediating team as well. We thank you very much. We appreciate you so, so much. And we envy the Gambia for having you. We pray that more women in Sayo will look up to her as a mentor and as an example to take what we've learned to other countries around Africa. I want to say again a big thanks to the three institutions that flew all the way and have had sleepless nights ensuring that this day happens. For the AU, the ECOWAS, and the Commonwealth, thank you very, very much. To the team, thank you. Thank you and thank you. We do appreciate you from our hearts and we share the love well in your family, and we'll continue to keep that. Please don't delete that book. <laughs> <laughs> and um, we want to thank the UN, because they've been very gracious in supporting us and our other development partners. They've been extremely well in terms of not just financial support, but even phone calls, checking on how things are going, making sure that things are in place, is everybody all right? Just imagine the people asking, is everybody all right in there? So I say, yes, we are alive, and people are smiling. And we want to thank you very much. So the diplomatic community has been exceptional for even calling you less than, less than an hour or two hours when you're here. Thank you very much. It makes you be part of your country. We appreciate you so, so much. It shows the commitment that you have, not just to job, because it is just it's five o'clock. You should be out and do something else by now. But it shows that you have commitments to Sierra and to the development that we're all pushing for. Thank you very much. We appreciate you. And we hope that you keep working, not just for the government of Sierra but for the people of Sierra Leone as you're doing. We want to thank the team on the ground. And that's all the staff. Um, especially the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. They've been exceptional. Some of them have not been sleeping. They've been picking up guests, dropping up guests 4 o'clock in the morning. And it's like round the clock. Most of the staff on the ground, the drivers, and even the cleaners, they've not been sleeping because we've been here very, very late. And so they will sleep maybe two hours a day. That's how we've been running 
um, for the last um, I'll say more than three days. Give it for just the meeting or even the planning towards the 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 meeting itself. And I will not forget the ICTN sister, this commission, or the board members, you people have been exceptional. Some of them are sleeping in the office. <laughs> they have been exceptional. We want to thank you for what you've been doing. I want to talk to Sierra Leoneans. Sierra Leoneans. I want to say social media. Latok you know what my Social media. Do you have peace dog car? Peace dog car, oh, peace dog car. When I saw people in the office, they said, peace dog car. Do you have them one day where one take this make provocation where they take that? This commission where they take that. Yeah? Let me know say, let me always say. Eh? Ask not them all know. And if you find out say nah, that kind of problem they make each police now they tell IG say yeah, that person the Lego sleep they post. So next time what a person not going to do the same thing again. Do you have let me always say as brother and sister that are discussing? It's important. If you see when a man hang in a kitchen, now in a cool the gear apple, you said the gear is pumping cold water. Eh? The gear hang for the low washing my hose. When you don't burn up for two, you are a big. Let me begin the. Let me begin the. Let me begin the long bus step back. It's key. It's important for make some long go before. Eh? Let me look who said now we are and say we don't forgive you. You are a big and a big. Again, we want to say thank you and thank you again to everybody for being here. We do appreciate you from the bottom of our hearts and may God continue to make this step progress because it's not just a one day thing. It's a process that we all have to go through and hopefully in time to come, we'll say thanks to everyone and thanks to God for this process that has started that will become a new thing. Thank you. Thank you. We've come to the end of this. This program. Thank you very much. The dialogue don't end.